Hi guys, so for this session, ang i-discuss natin is field effect transistor. So, and dali, katuloy lang nito ng bipolar junction transistor natin. So, first let us define what is field effect transistor. So, when we say field effect transistor, it is a unipolar transistor consisting of three or more electrode regions, the source, one or more gates, and the drain. So, first, ito yung pinaka main difference niya sa BJT is it is unipolar. Then, next, sabi niya, a current flowing in the channel between the highly doped source and drain is controlled by the electric field arising from a voltage applied between the source and the gate. So, ayan, yung nagko-control dito is the electric field, kaya siya tinawag na field effect transistor. So, ayan. Yung BJT, bipolar, ito unipolar. Yung BJT is current controlled, ito electric field by the voltage. So, technically, it is voltage controlled. Then, sa BJT, if meron tayong uh, base, collector, and emitter, dito meron tayong gate, drain, at saka source. So, yan yung tatlong terminals natin dito sa field effect transistor. Then, another is, bakit siya tinawag na unipolar? So, tinawag siyang unipolar kasi isa lang yung type of uh, carrier na nagdadala ng current niya. So, either yun yung holes or yun yung electron. So, that's why it is called unipolar. So, sa BJT kasi, both holes and electrons sabay. Dito, isa lang. Depende kung saan material gawa itong channel natin. Okay? So next, so we have two types of FET. So first is JFET or the Junction Field Effect Transistor. Then second is MOSFET or the Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. So yan yung dalawang types of FET natin. Pero punta muna tayo sa una which is the JFET. So ito yung unang type ng FET which is the JFET. And this is the schematic symbol ng JFET. So meron tayo ang tatlong terminal, yung gate yung drain at yung source. So, yung gate siya yung base sa BGT. Yung drain, siya yung collector. Yung source, siya yung emitter. So, makikita nyo naman, emitter nag -e emit Source, sa kanya nang gagaling. Collector, nagko-collect. Drain, sa kanya napupunta yung current. So, ayan. Tandaan lang, nakapag end channel, itong araw natin dito, it points inward. Then, kapag V channel, itong araw natin dito, it points palabas. Kaya, P channel. Okay, so then here is the structure or construction ng JFET natin. So, mahalagang tandaan nyo yung construction or yung structure ng isang uh, semiconductor device kasi mas madali nyo siyang matadaan. So, tandaan nyo, ganito yung itsura niya. Yung gate is made of the opposite material ng channel. So, for example, ito, ito yung end channel natin. Kaya siya tinawag na end channel kasi yung channel or yung connection ng drain at ng source, dito nagpo-flow yung current, is made of N-type semiconductor. So therefore, yung gate mo nun is the opposite material na semiconductor. Kapag P-channel naman, itong connection ng drain and ng source is made of P-type semiconductor. So yung gate is the opposite semiconductor material which is N-type. So, yeah. so, dito, i-discuss natin kung paano mag-work yung isang JFET para mas maintindihan natin. Ilagay na natin dito ang construction. So, let's say meron tayo isang JFET which is, pag tinignan mo yung arrow, it is pointing inward kaya it is end channel. So, dahil end channel yan, yan, meron tayong supply dito which is VDD. Then, meron tayong drain resistance, may source, may drain at may gate tayo. So, yun yung uh, N type, uh, N channel JFET natin. So, first, syempre, maglagay tayo ng axis, horizontal and vertical axis. So, the vertical axis is the drain current while the horizontal axis is the drain to source voltage. Yun yung voltage dito. Okay? So, at first, pag pinagdan mo itong JFET natin by construction connected yung drain at yung source through the channel so if mag-apply ka ng voltage yan 
naturally, magkakaroon ng flow of current dito sa channel since connected naman sila. So, ayan, pag nag-apply ka daw ng voltage, magkakaroon siya ng current. So, what will happen kapag tinaasan ko yung voltage na to? So, pag tinaasan mo yung voltage, dahil connected sila, parang may resistor ka lang o parang may wire ka lang dyan. So, naturally, pag tinaasan mo yung voltage, tataas din yung current. So, what will happen is, if you have increase in voltage, so, pag tumataas itong horizontal axis mo, tataas din yung vertical axis mo. Kaya, ang mangyayari, magiging ganito yung itsura ng curve niya. So, habang tumataas yung voltage, tumataas yung current natin, until umabot sa point na mapuno itong channel. So, kapag napuno yung channel, ayan, kahit taasan mo pa yung voltage mo, naturally, hindi na tataas yung current mo kasi puno na hindi na magkakasya pa yung current dito sa channel dito. So, what will happen is, habang taasan mo pa yung voltage, current will remain constant. So, ayan, magre-remain siya ng constant. And, itong point na to, guys, kung saan napuno yung current, so, this is what we call as pinch of voltage. So, yan yung tinatawag natin pinch of voltage. So, when we say pinch of voltage, then it is the voltage at which the drain current makes uh, the drain current remains constant with an increase in the drain to source voltage so kahit taasan mo daw yung drain to source voltage mo yung drain current mo it remains constant so pag tinataasan mo pa yung voltage dito tumataas yung voltage pero yung current hindi na tumataas kasi nga puno na until such time na masira itong channel o itong nakaharang dito so pag nasira yung channel ang mangyari tataas yung current natin kasi wala na yung nakaharang. So, biglang tataas yung current natin. So, yung point naman na ito, tatawagin natin break of voltage. So, ayan. Then, tignan natin yung tatlong zone of operation ng JFET dito. So, first, yung point na to, habang tumataas yung voltage, tumataas yung current. So, it is a slope, straight line. So, we call that the ohmic region kasi it follows ohms law lang. So, this is ohmic region. Then, ito, since yung current, it remains constant. So, ayan, this is the constant current region or sa JFET, ito yung tinatawag natin na active region. So, this is the active region. And lastly, itong part na to. So, ayan, ang, tatawa ang tatawagin natin dyan is break down region so break down region kasi na break down yung harang natin dito sa kit material okay